Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. And we're going to start off, first of all, there is a giveaway going on the channel right now. Link for that giveaway is in the description down below. You just need to follow the link, sign up, and do the things it's telling you to do, and you'll get entries to the giveaway. I believe you can get a daily giveaway entrance every day, so make sure you do that. Second of all, we got Fat Birthday coming, which is great. Especially for our League SBC method, which I'm going to be talking about today. And number three, of course, we have to talk about coronavirus because people are still not listening. So people, let me just give you something. Isolation means isolation, quarantine. Um, it's important that we quarantine and we isolate ourselves when needed to stop the spread of disease. Now I see so many people saying, I need a friend. I can't do this self-isolation for three weeks. My social life will be ruined. Your social life is not ruined. It is three weeks of a 52 week year, if not more. The longer you keep going against the government advice, which is there for a reason, we're not making this up. Coronavirus isn't a made up disease. You've seen the numbers, you've seen how many people it's killing. So this is serious. This is a pandemic. We haven't had a pandemic, a worldwide disease like this since the Ebola virus, which was devastating in mainly Africa. And this has spread to many, many more countries. So, they are telling you to do one simple thing. Stay at home unless it's necessary travel, i.e. to go to work when, if very necessary, if you cannot work from home, like myself, I still travel to work. You're at school, you're at college, you're at university, you've been taken out of work. Stay away. You don't need to go out. You're literally being told to sit in and watch the TV. How simple is that? You don't need a friend to watch TV with. You don't need a friend to do any of that with. Just stay and do what you're told. And things will hopefully eventually be fine. But on to the FIFA. So, of course, we have a birthday coming, which means SBC packs are going to be open. Now, I've been storing a lot of SBC packs. And I think I've got a lot of stuff ready to go. Now, why haven't I done this? Why haven't I submitted the CSL ready to go? I could have done, and I could have left the packs in there, but I want to get as many players as I can to try and reduce my spend down as a lot, because this isn't my main way of coins, remember that. This is something I do in the background, but I'm about to show you how stacked your club will get just by doing it. I've got 3,500 players in the club. When I started this, maybe about, I think this is now my third week of doing bronze packs. Um, I started the bronze packs, what, two... So last weekend I was supposed to do Seeds Americana. Well, this weekend coming. So maybe this is my fourth week of bronze packs. Third or fourth week, it doesn't really matter. I've over doubled the amount of players in my club. I have tons of bronzes and tons of silvers ready to go. Let's just take a look at the extent of my club. I was going to do a club tour in the last one of the last videos, so I'll do it now. We'll just go through our actual club that we've got in here. Bearing in mind, our transfer profit is only 9 million coins right now. We've managed to get Prime Rio Ferdinand, and this is all for a spend. Okay, yes, I spent money on the game at the start. I bought what? <laughs> £240 worth of FIFA points. But if you can afford to do that, you get your account in such a great, such, such a great position. So I've now got uh, a Prime Rio, which is 1.7 million. A Neymar, which I got for 500k. We got a load of prime icons and prime icon moments. We've got Mbappe, we've got Kante, we've got Silva, we've got Rooney. We have got Van Dyke. We've got Salah. We've got De Gea. We've got 90 Courtois. We've got Sen. We got De Stegen. We've got more lone icons. We have Aguero, who I bought. We got Ramos, who I packed. We got SBC Sanchez, uh, Red Coutinho, SBC Tsar. We've got Road to the Final Sancho. We've got Ben Yedder. We've got Mili Savic. We've got Nesta. Our club is stacked with insanely good players. And we just look at these high rates. I just have tons of tons of cards that are just sat in my club, evidently doing nothing. But I just like to have such a stacked club. And just sit back through the times and you think, there'll be times where some of these cards would be great. But this is where this is where the important thing comes. Because you don't when you do the League SPC, there's basically seven leagues that you really focus on. You focus on the five main ones, of course, so Prem, Ligue 1, Serie A, 
Bundesliga. Let's make sure we're all recording. Yes, we are. Uh, Bundesliga, and you've got La Liga, and then you're focusing on the the rinse and repeat, so the Chinese Super League and the uh, the MBS Pro League. You've then got the other four, which you forget about. So you forget about the championship. And these ones always take a back seat for me. The ones that take a back seat. The championship, the Eredivisie. You've got the... Uh, ch -ch -ch, where are we? We've got the, the Liga Nos. MLS. And then we've got the Super League. So that's essentially five leagues there. Which literally, I never really check. I just stole all the players... But I was only looking at what great position our club is in right now. In terms of just players, we go to silver players. I have got so many upgrade packs of golds that I need to get opened. We look at our silver market. Now, there are certain silvers which I'm going to keep. Um, you know, probably 74s and 73 rated silvers will all be kept for SBC purposes. Um, ones from certain nations which I need for the Libertadores and the Sudamericana will be kept as well, and anything from the League 3 or the League 1 and League 2 in the um, in the English Leagues will be keeping as well. But we just have a shit ton of these cards. Remember, there's what? Five, ten cards, ten players on each page, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the end and just see how many silvers. Actually, I think you can tell how many silvers you have, can't you? If you go here, my club. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Does it not tell you? It used to be. It used to tell you. Hey right, guys, we're on to page forty-two. The game is lagging like hell, trying to load all these different cards, and we're only on seventy rated. So I pretty much presume that we probably have about a hundred pages of silvers, which is over a thousand silvers in the club, probably about nearing a thousand bronzes. We're just so so stacked with this club right now because of the league SBC method. So I've managed to get profit and put all this into our club. Let's just check the championship. We got Barnsley pretty much ready to go. Birmingham is nearly there. Blackburn pretty much there. Brentford pretty much there. Bristol not quite. But Cardiff pretty much there. Charlton Athletic done. Derby County pretty much done. Fulham already done but nearly done again. Huddersfield not quite. But Hull halfway through. Leeds we got seven depending on how cheap the other ones are. Again Luton still possible, Middlesbrough not quite, Millwall pretty much there, Nottingham Forest not quite, Preston not quite, QPR nearly there, Reading not quite, uh, Sheffield Wednesday not quite, Stoke City not quite, Swansea City not quite, but West Brom not quite, and uh, Wigan Athletic we've easily got done. We then check and we go on to the CSL, we just check how many CSL cards are there. 16 teams, right? So theoretically, you need 176 cards, which is just over 17 pages to complete this. Now, I don't mind completing 20% of the league. I already have 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 pages of this. So theoretically, I'd only have to buy 17 players, theoretically, to buy the league. Of course, some of them are going to be quite a hefty price tag. We check the area to VZ. We look at Adu Hu Hang, not too far away. Ajax will not be too far away. AZ will pretty much be there. we got Emmen, who are pretty much there. Gronion, we've got that done pretty much. Twent, halfway there. Utrecht, nearly there. Uh, Feyenoord, nearly there. Stittard, nearly there. Alamelo, nearly there. Zwoll, not quite. PSV, not quite, although I think I've done PSV already. We've got Valvike, not quite there. Harenven, nearly there. Rotterdam, not quite there. Vitesse, not quite there. And Venlo, who we've done as well. And Willem too. So we've got so many teams already who are basically done, just ready for me to do. But I keep them there because I just don't see there any point opening packs when there is no promo out. At this stage in the game, keep these stocked up. Ready to go again. I mean, do them if you can have the packs out there. If you can afford to keep the packs out there. Theoretically, as long as you have a spot for these cards here. I mean, it's very unlikely that you'll have a huge amount done already. Um, and, you know, it's, it's up to you when you complete them. But again, we check with Liga Nos. The, the MLS is actually really, really good. So Atlanta is halfway through. Austin doesn't have one, I don't believe. Chicago Fire is pretty much there. Colorado Rapids halfway. 
Columbus Crew not quite, but DC already nearly there. Cincinnati already nearly there. Dallas already nearly there. Dynamo about halfway through. Montreal pretty much there. Into Miami doesn't have an SBC, I don't think. LA Galaxy nearly there. LAFC halfway. Minnesota pretty much done. Nashville don't think that has one. New England nearly there. New York City done. New York Red Bulls nearly done. Orlando City halfway. Philadelphia nearly done. Portland Timbers nearly done. We are in such a strong position. All from opening bronze packs, doing silvers, and literally using what was in my club. And remember, we have all that done. We have all that ready to go. And look how much progress we made already. Bundesliga is six teams away from completing. Ligue 1, halfway through. Uh, Serie A, five teams away from completing. Premiership, seven teams away from completing. And La Liga, seven teams away from completing. Sudamericana is pretty much ready to go. Libertadores is pretty much ready to go as well. We're doing those at the weekend. And we're just turning over so much profit all from silver card trading, guys. Silver card trading and buying cards like Sancho. When Sancho's player of the month came down, came out, I picked up his best one and he's already bouncing back. We picked ours up at 125k with a hunter. We'll go to special. We go chemistry style hunter. Player name, we'll go for Jane Sancho. And it's not even Thursday, mate. I put Tancho. What am I doing? San Sancho. Here he is. We'll go special hunter on Sancho. We got one here for 155, 250, 186, 142, 250. We've got one here for 245, 139, uh, 181. Uh, 139, and that's it. So that was 13, what? 138, 139? We're already making a good 10k profit on that card, which is really, really nice. And we got Thursday flips to do as well. We got some good packs stored, but there will, there will be some SBCs that we'll be completing. I will do that in my own time as well. We look at the SBCs that we have got ready to do. Uh, if we go to live right now, we of course have this Ashley Young trash card. We got Route 1 Football, which we get an 84 rated rare player plus. I might go ahead and do that, depending on what the requirements are. PSG 4th kit, do not submit 11 fucking players for a 1 kit. It's not worth it. We got the marquee matchups, which I'll need to do as well. We got this, uh, and then we got this one here, this uh, to get an 81 to a 9, an 84 to a 91 overall card. I don't know what we have to get for it. It's only 75 team rating, one Italian players. A rare players exactly 11. Very, very easy to do. And especially when you have the um, fuck birthday coming up, we know that's going to be good. And we should have Carnival coming up soon as well. But whether I'll do that, I don't know. Because there isn't much of a Carnival going on right now. But, of course, we are going to get on to some gameplay for today. We'll check out our objectives. Didn't play any FIFA yesterday. Um, we still have this... Uh, this rare pack then. We have to win 20 games and we get a Foot Icons away kick and a rare players pack. That'd be nice to get. Still got this uh, Icon Moments best loan. I don't think I'll be able to do him now. Um, just because I've got to win seven matches in a game mode using at least three Northern Irish players. It doesn't really concern me too much. Yes, I could have done him, but you know what? I'm kind of getting bored of FIFA right now, but I'll try and, I'll try and keep the motivation up. We still got week one gold that we need to work towards. Uh, squad battles is easy. I can do that later on tonight. We can try and do that today. The low driven shot and then squad battles is easy. We've got to do this uh, score of volley in any game mode. I can do that in the... Um, well, I can do that in anything really. But um, yeah, let's jump into some games then. We are going to do... Let's see what icon swaps should we do. So we've done Premier League and Serie A. Let's do the... Do we go Bundesliga or do we go League Earn? Bundesliga, League Earn, Bundesliga, League Earn. Let's go for Bundesliga. And also, guys, because um, Fat Birthday is going to be Friday, I'm not going to be opening my rewards anyway. Um, I mean, Fat Champs is dead because we've only got, what, Gold 1, I think, if even that. I might have even got Silver. No, I got. I don't know what I got in Fat Champs, actually. Um, leaderboard. I got gold three and I said I stopped gold three because I was so so pissed off of it. So we'll get the gold three rewards. Um, we should maybe get division one rival rewards. I'm not too sure though. Division two might be the most we can get. But um, yeah, let's pop over to our first owner Bundesliga team then, and let's just see 
what we've got here. Now, the first owner Bundesliga team is quite strong, actually. We've got Bundesliga first owner here. We've got quite a decent setup. I'm not sure how it sets up in-game, um, if at all. Uh, it's, I mean, I don't know how I set this up in-game, to be fair. I don't physically think it's possible for us to play Werner and Haaland. So I think Haaland will have to come out. Uh, we'll probably play Sancho and Havertz as wide cams. Coutinho down the middle, Werner and ST. We just need a, a CDM to help out Mr. Essien in the middle. And I don't actually have uh, an icon of a centre mid that I can use to help him. So it's going to have to be from the Bundesliga. Um, and a midfielder from the Bundesliga. So again, I don't really fancy using Sancho. We could use Goretzka. He's a good shout. Goretzka's a great shout. Goretzka's a sick shout. Goretzka's going in. There we go. So Goretzka will go in there. He'll drop into CDM. Let's just check our custom tactics here. Um, so we we haven't even done our tactics here. So let's pop these on then. So we're going to take that off. We take that off that there. Uh, we're going to drop the depths back to probably two depth. Um, keep that all the very much the same. Just so you guys can see what sort of uh, things I run here. So we'll run the 4, 2, 3, 1. We'll have Werner up in the cam there. We'll have Coutinho wide, middle, Havertz wide left, I guess. And then San... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, Sancho wide right, Havertz wide left. Goretzka and Essien in the middle. Then we got up Meccano, Nesta, Liner and Roussillon there. Instructions. I put uh, stay central and getting behind for Werner. Coutinho can stay forward. Um, Sancho and Kai Havertz stay as they are. SCN and Goretzka stay back, stay back. Fullbacks, of course, are stay back, especially this year. You don't need overlapping fullbacks. And then we change our probably ultra defensive. We'll put this to uh, constant pressure, width quite high, depth quite high up as well. Fast build up, uh, quite high with both of those. Get all the players in the box. Formations back to the 4 2 3 1. Swap Sancho. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Coutinho there, Havertz over there, and then Sancho in there, and then we will go to instructions, we will have of course he's going to be staying central, getting behind, uh, staying forward on him, uh, he can go into uh, free roam, and these guys will stay forward as well, these guys are all stay as they are, but apart from that, I think that is everything we need to do. We'll update our bench and then we'll get into the first game. And hopefully, we can get something a little bit better than what we had done in Weekend League. Because Weekend League was an absolute disaster. Alright then guys, this is the first team we're up against then. A very, very strong team actually. Very, very, very good team. Could be a very hard game here. Ah, we're 1-0 down already. Lovely jubbly. Oh, dearie me. It's Hazard. Hazard makes it two. Oh, we could be in for a destruction here, guys. We could be in for an absolute mullering. Wait, why did I not bring Prime Rio with me? Why did I put Nesta in? Oh, because oh, he's first owned, I guess. But we don't need first owned. We can buy, put in bought icons. Fuck, I forgot. I'm such an idiot. I'm so sorry. Maybe Nesta can do a job, which I highly much doubt, but hey, you never know. You never know. Here we go. Here's Werner. Werner here. Come on, Werner, mate. Go on, Werner, lad. Go on, Werner, lad. Chip him. <laughs> oh, the goalkeeper. 97, Allison, and that gets you just watching the ball fly over the net. What a goalkeeper. Here's Werner. Here's Werner. Play him in. Coutinho's got a berry. Oh, Coutinho. Oh, Coutinho's got to be better there. Oh, come on. Havertz. Havertz. Oh, come on. Off it. Come on. Off it. There's no way you get through here. Oh, I thought we could have another attack there before the half. Oh, that's disappointing. I mean, we've been dominating the game. He's just had two lucky shots on. 
I think I'm probably going to move Havertz into the middle, take Coutinho out. We'll put in Aidan McGeady. Um, we'll leave it like that for now. To do the same in the second half. Here's Sancho. Sancho. Across the box for McGeady. Oh, come on, McGeady, mate. You've got to do better than that, son. Oh, McGeady. Oh, McGeady. Oh, McGeady's doing him dirty, boy. Oh, McGeady. Oh, he was going on such a skill run. That's the first time I've ever popped a... Uh, a rainbow flick over a player. That was sick. Oh, thank the Lord. He's still got the ball, though. He's teasing it around. And that's a goal. Yeah, there we go. All from a silly, shitty McGeady pass. Well, I was going to bring on some more subs. But right now, I don't think that's really necessary, does it? We're just going to have to hold the L and move on to the next one. And Hazard makes it for... Oh, dear. Time to put the controller down. And, guys, this is our second opponent of today. Then he looks like he has got prime Dalglish with Messi, Mbappe, Vieira, Vidal, uh, whoever that is in the middle, Vinicius, Lala, Prime, Rio, Alisson... Uh, probably, I think that was Tierney at left back and then David Luiz in centre back with Prime Rio. I think it might be yet another L. I hate to say it, but I think it could be. And Kenny makes it look so, so easy. And this is why I hate icon swaps, which is why I think icon swaps need to be reworked. I just think these first owner teams, unless you do them in the first week, you're just screwed. Because every bang out of rivals who's going to do these won't even play champs. They'll literally spend all that weekend just doing those, sacrifice champs, and they'll just play rivals with their sweat teams for the whole week. Me, I'll only play rivals if there's stuff to do in rivals. Which right now there is, so I'm doing it. But I hate playing rivals, man. It's just, it's even worse than champs. It's even worse than champs. And champs nearly killed me this week. It was that boring and dead. Hence, I didn't even try and go. I could get gold two. I couldn't get gold one. I could have got gold two if I'd have gone for it. But I just didn't bother. Because I just thought, you know what? Why the fuck do I need to bother with this? I'm going to get a 50k pack, two mega packs. And I'm just going to spend my time playing a game I enjoy. Lovely piece of play there, but just nothing from it. The goalkeeper just easily smothers it because he's got just an insane team here. Here is Coutinho. No support. Okay, there's Werner. Shoots it. Saves it. And we get the corner in, and this won't be any better either. Coutinho on the corner. Tragic ball and a tragic header. Well, didn't, definitely didn't see that coming, did I? Ah, Messi makes it 2-0. Oh. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. There's no way I'm going to beat this guy, so I'm just going to quit out, I think. Alright guys, this is the team we're playing against then, and it looks like we've actually found ourselves someone who's doing first owner objectives. Um, so, maybe, maybe we'll be in a chance, I don't know, probably not, we'll probably get slapped up still, or we'll probably leave, just to rub the salt in the wound. Well, it looks like he's going to play, that's always good news. All we've got to do now is beat him. And there we go. We're losing 1-0 already. Oh, dear me. This is not going to be a good evening for FIFA. At all. 
Right, here's Coutinho. <sighs> I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't... I think there are generally nights where the game just does not want me to win. And I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to stop this shift of momentum. I lose one game in Rivals, I lose about 15. And then I'll win seven and then think, oh, things are going well again. And literally a couple of seconds later, I'll be fucked in the ground again. Can we get a ball in the Roussillon? Not a bad ball, but no one on the end of it. Hey, thank you, Timo Werner. Guess the equaliser. Thank the bloody Lord. Here's Coutinho. Why did he hood it so crookedly? Here's Havertz, for fuck's sake. Back to Coutinho. Coutinho again with a shot and just blasts it over. Holy fucking shit. Oh no. Oh, big save by Roman. Big saves by Ramon. This will be a goal. And there we go. This, you know what? It's time. I just can't win. I can't win in this game anymore. I don't know what is going wrong. I don't know what's going wrong. How am I supposed to defend against this? Up Meccano is so slow. It's absolute bullshit. Literally, the team he has is so, so budget. And my forwards have done absolutely nothing. I've got a forward four on the pitch right now of Mbappe, Dan James, who's one of the most OP cars in this game, Neymar, and second in form Werner. And none of them make any runs. They literally just stand there like fucking sardines in a can. In fact, I think the sardines have been more fucking active. See, why has it passed it to Dan James there? I don't get why it's passed it to Dan James. Like, you could clearly see there was another man in space. And it just goes, you know what? No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is yours, Dan James, mate. This is yours. And we're going to lose this game because of stupid mechanics in this game still. And it's just not fair. I just don't think this whole fuck champs thing and whole division rivals thing is fair. Like, where is the enjoyment in me playing this game right now? I'm playing with a team that I don't want to play with for the sake of getting two players in the club. A Dalgleish and a prime moment Trezeguet. Are they really going to impact my team that much? Where we can get better results than this? No. So I literally just come on this game every day. To sit here and take loss. After 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 loss. In hope that maybe at some point. I'll get matched against someone who A. Is doing these whatever they fucking are and B we get someone who's actually my skill level to play against and three that I get the luck of the game because about those three things in rivals you're essentially screwed but anyway that's where I'm gonna end this one then guys if you did enjoy make sure to leave an like on it make sure you get involved in the giveaway down below and I'll catch you all in the next one goodbye so I now find out that I've been recording the quality of this video in a very poor quality. So, yeah. Apologies for the poor quality for this video. I'll uh, make sure the next time I remember to downscale the Xbox again. But anyways, second outro. Goodbye.